Mark chapter 1 verse 41 presents a profound moment in the ministry of Jesus Christ that reveals both his divine authority and his compassionate heart. The verse states, Then Jesus, moved with compassion, stretched out his hand and touched him, and said to him, I am willing, be cleansed. The scene unfolds with a leper, a man isolated by the severity of his disease, daring to approach the Savior. Leprosy, in the cultural and religious context of ancient Israel, rendered a person ceremonially unclean, effectively cutting them off from the community and temple worship. This man, desperate and full of faith, breaks through societal barriers to reach out to Jesus, acknowledging his power by saying, If you are willing, you can make me clean. Jesus' response is both shocking and revolutionary. He is moved with compassion. This is not a mere emotional response, but a deep divine empathy that moves him to action. Jesus, fully aware of the Levitical laws concerning cleanliness, does the unthinkable. He touches the leper. According to the law, touching a leper would render one ceremonially unclean. But here, Jesus, the embodiment of the law and the fulfillment of the prophets, demonstrates his authority over the law. In touching the leper, he does not become unclean. Instead, he imparts cleanliness, healing the man instantly. This act of touching the leper is a powerful declaration of who Jesus is. He is not just a healer. He is the Holy One of Israel, the Lord of the law, who has the authority to cleanse not only physical ailments, but also the deeper spiritual uncleanness that separates man from God. Isaiah chapter 53 verse 4 speaks of the Messiah saying, Surely he has borne our griefs and carried our sorrows. In this moment, Jesus bears the grief of the leper, taking his uncleanness upon himself, foreshadowing the ultimate act of bearing the sin of the world on the cross. Furthermore, Jesus' words, I am willing, echo the heart of God throughout Scripture. 2 Peter chapter 3 verse 9 declares that God is not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. The willingness of Jesus to cleanse the leper reflects God's desire to cleanse all who come to him in faith. The physical healing of the leper points to the greater spiritual healing available through Jesus Christ. He is willing to cleanse the sinner, to remove the stain of sin, and to restore the broken relationship between man and God. As we reflect on this passage, it is crucial to recognize that the same compassion and power displayed by Jesus are available to us today. The leper's boldness in approaching Jesus, despite his unworthiness, should inspire us to come to Christ with our own uncleanness, knowing that he is willing and able to cleanse us. Hebrews chapter 4 verses 15 through 16 reminds us that we have a high priest who can sympathize with our weaknesses, and therefore we can Come boldly to the throne of grace, that we may obtain mercy, and find grace to help in time of need. Mark chapter 1 verse 41 is a vivid reminder of the holiness, power, and compassion of Jesus Christ. It challenges us to approach Him in faith, to trust in His willingness to cleanse us, and to live in the reality of the grace that He freely offers. The touch of Jesus is not just a physical act, it is a divine declaration that in Him the unclean are made clean, the broken are made whole, and the outcast is brought near. Let us, therefore, come to Him with confidence, knowing that He is both willing and able to cleanse us from all unrighteousness.